This is how logic works look like when you open it for the first time. You see the menu up here for creating a new um, type of file. It can be a circuit, it can be a symbol, it can be a VHDL file. Um, and you see a timing panel at the bottom and you see a palette on the right for selecting different uh, primitive gates. Um, let's just start by creating a new circuit. From file new, you can create a, a new um, file and it can be a circuit. So select circuit and then um, the environment um, gives you the control for starting the simulation um, and gives you the uh, control for uh, bringing in primitives and the timing panel for uh, showing the uh, progress of the simulation. Um, so um, we start by designing a full adder. So let's bring in um, three AND gates uh, and an OR gate for creating the uh, carry signal. And we need one uh, three input OR gate for uh, collecting the result of AND gates. Okay. Um, every one of the gates um, have ports, so standard AND gate, two inputs you see on the left and one output on the right. Uh, if you extend the uh, tail of the output, you can uh, get a signal um, which is carrying uh, the uh, value of the uh, output of AND gate and you can connect that to the input of the OR gate. So basically we are connecting the AND gates uh, output to the input of the OR gates. And um, he can uh, name the output. For instance, let's name the output uh, carry out in this example. So I right click and select the name. I name this one carry out. And then press OK. Uh, as soon as you pick a name for a signal, it will show up on the timing panel. And when you start the simulation, you see the values uh, this signal is getting over the time. Um, and um, the um, full adder has uh, three inputs, A, B, and carry in. Um, and we can um, create the inputs by uh, selecting the, uh, by inserting signals using the plus sign, um, which is called draw signal. So using the draw signal, I'll draw um, path for signal A, and I connect signal A to two gates. This is a standard uh, full adder. And then I draw a second um, line of uh, input for signal B. And I connect this to two other gates. And then the third a line of input for carry in and we connect this to the remaining inputs of the AND gates. Um, in LogicWorks, wire can um, cross over and also uh, can get an intersection to get connected. When there is an intersection of wires, you see a, a red dot showing at the intersection. And when they are uh, crossing over, uh, you see there is no intersection, no dots, and basically meaning they are crossing over. Uh, use the uh, select tool, the pointer, um, to see which wires uh, are connected to which gate. So if I select the line at the bottom, um, this shows it's connected to the two bottom AND gates. And if I select the middle line, see it's connected to the first and third. And if we select the top one, we see it's connected to the first and second. Uh, let's name the inputs. So I name this one uh, A. You can carry the uh, name label to the uh, beginning of the wire so it's uh, more clear what is the name of the wire. Um, do the same for second line. And same for uh, the last input line, carry in. Or 
Okay, we have all the inputs for generating the carry out. Um, second input, uh, second output of um, full adder is uh, uh, sum, and uh, sum is created by uh, three input x or gate. So let's insert the three input x or gate. Okay, we name this signal s the result of sum and we connect the three inputs to the XOR gate. Okay, that's our uh, full adder and it's uh, complete and um, we can start a simulation and verify the correctness of the circuit. Um, to start uh, verifying the correctness of sig uh, uh, circuit, um, we have to uh, attach uh, signal drivers. So we drive in some values for the inputs. Um, the basic type of the signal driver is called binary switch. So from the uh, palette on the right, select the binary switch, and then attach the binary switch to all the inputs. And then um, you can now start the simulation, apply different inputs and verify the value of the output. Uh, there are different ways for um, verifying the correctness of circuit. Uh, one way is to use the uh, show values option. So it's basically showing you the value of every signal at every moment. From simulation, check show values. After checking show values, you see all the uh, signals, uh, all the values of every signal in your circuit. And then apply different input to verify what is the value of output. So let's try 0, 0, 0. So output is 0, 0, and that is expected from a truth table of the full adder. Let's also try 1, 1, 1. And for 1, 1, 1, the expected output is 1 for carry out and 1 for sum. If that also works, it suggests that the circuit is uh, working as expected for these two inputs. Um, and um, um, we can um, you know, save and uh, proceed to the next step. So I'm going to save the circuit next from file, uh, select save circuit to save your circuit. Um, so I'm going to save under um, save under um, desktop uh, folder project. I'll call uh, this initial project project zero zero, and I will name this file uh, full adder or uh, FA. Okay, so this is called. Um, fa.cct and this is the path the file is being saved. Um, it's a good practice to test all combinations of the input to verify uh, it's, it's working as expected under all different types of inputs, all values of the inputs. Um, so here we're going to use the second type of input which is called a clock. So I'm going to replace binary switch with a clock. So here I remove all the binary switches Binary switch is good for verifying single values uh, and we usually use a clock for verifying um, all combinations of the inputs. So let's insert um, three clocks. As soon as you insert the clock, you see the timing panel starts ticking, indicating that simulation is going with a certain speed uh, over the time and uh, clock never stops like the CPU clock and it continues uh, as long as the simulation is going forward. So I stop the simulation uh, and insert the two other input clocks. Um, and if you start the simulation, you will see all the inputs have the same clock with the same period, um, and they are only generating two um, input uh, variations. Uh, this is not great for testing. We better generate all combinations of the input. So what I'll do, um, I'll see what is the value of um, the period of this clock. 
um, from from uh, delay and deviation, uh, it's 10, 10, 10 um, nanosecond uh, period. Uh, I'll check the visible mark here, so it will show up on the clock, so I know what is the period of this clock. Um, so my very first clock uh, signal driver is working with the period of 10. Um, I will adjust the second uh, clock signal to be working with the twice of the period. And again, I'll check the visible checkbox so it appears on the top of the clock. And for the last one, I'll go with the twice of the uh, clock signal of the second one. So it's basically 40 nanosecond. So this guarantees that I'm generating all combinations of the input. If you start the simulation again and stop, we'll see um, my slowest clock C in is um, when one period of my slowest clock is complete, all possible combinations of the inputs are generated and I can verify the output. Um, you can zoom in into the timing panel to see the details. Um, the uh, tools for zoom in and zoom out are at the top. So this is the zoom in option and this is the zoom out option. So if you zoom in and focus on one single period of um, carry in signal, you can verify the correctness of the circuit. So this is one period of carry in signal. And here we can verify uh, all values of the input in respect uh, to the output and make sure it's working as expected. For instance, um, if we verify at this uh, moment what we see, uh, B is zero, A is one, and C in is one. What we expect is carry out zero and sum one. This is what we see. So this confirms that the circuit is working as expected. Um, we can verify uh, all other uh, combinations and all values to make sure this is uh, completely working as expected. Okay, uh, to recap, uh, things that we have learned in this video is uh, we have uh, two different uh, input drivers. Uh, we have a clock driver, we have binary switches for driving uh, the input. Um, we also have um, two types of uh, simulations. Uh, we have uh, simulations uh, with the show values and simulation with the timing. In these two different ways, we can verify the output uh, of our circuit. Okay, and um, make sure always save your circuit because uh, you might lose your data.